New tonight coming to the defense of a mother whose baby was shot in a drive-by shooting. Investigators tell us she is a known gang member, but her family is saying not so fast. There's more to the story here, describing her as a loving single mom. Candace McCowan joining us live from the jail in Pasco County with the story. This is where the mother's facing drug charges and the family defending the mother, but the sheriff, he's not buying the story. Well, Keith, good evening. That mother, she's facing charges not for the shooting, but what deputies found while investigating that shooting. And Sheriff Chris Nako saying the family's claims that this mother is a good mother is pure fantasy. The video shows the moment after that drive-by shooting when an ambulance arrives and a deputy rushes out of the home, putting the one-year-old on a stretcher. The absolute frightening thing is that that crib was hit six times. Um, I will say, if you don't have a faith, uh, you, you better believe because there were angels in that crib with that little baby. The amazing news is that the one-year-old is expected to survive. We blurred these pictures of the baby from her mother, Linda Exline's Facebook page. Photos Exline has captioned, you can tell a lot about a woman by the way she takes care of her children. She's reading some bad Dr. Seuss books because she is making it all up. Narco telling us the shooting was the result of drug and gang activity. Others in the house arrested on drug charges. Another, a suspect in a shooting just four days ago. The tattoo on X-Line's face says fearless, but Narco tells us she's no angel with a long arrest record and gang ties. She was documented because of gang tattoos and because she associates with gang members of the Valentine blood. X-Line's family telling News Channel 8 none of this is true. She just told us she's turned her life around, going to school, good mother. She can tell whatever fairy tale she wants. The truth is that her one-year-old was shot because of criminal activity that surrounds that house. Well, Child Protective Investigators have been involved with this family multiple times before. We understand that the one-year-old and an older sibling will be going into the custody of someone else. We also are told that x had another child that was taken from her custody, family telling me about seven to eight years ago. Meantime, back to that shooting, we understand that the suspects are still on the loose and there is fear of retaliation, so sheriff's deputies are very anxious to get them behind bars. Keith? Candace McCowan live in Pasco County tonight. Thank you for that.